talk about our bodies. We were given two days to forgive the attackers before they returned. We hardly knew how to read or to write, but that day, we learned how to vote. Do nothing. Stay and fight. Wait. Leave. If we do not forgive these men, we forfeit our place in heaven. Surely there must be something worth living for in this life, not only the next. We know that we've not imagined these attacks. We know that we are bruised and infected and pregnant and some of us are dead. We cannot forgive because we are forced to. Who are you? Who are any of you? pretend I have had a choice. We know that we must protect our children. I will become a murderer if I stay. We are not all murderers. Not yet. Men have taught the lesson of power to the boys. And they have been excellent students. But they are children. And they can be taught. Have we made a decision? Our choice will be your future. I designed Megan to protect Katie from feeling lonely. She will recognize you as her primary user. And when you do that, you're gonna pair with her. Crazy. It's insane, right? Oh, don't I look nice? Biting my eyes, isn't it pure perfection? Megan, your goal is to protect Katie from harm, both physical and emotional. One, two, three, four. I declare some more. I won't let anything harm you. I love her. Megan's not a person, Katie. You don't get to say that. Things that you can play with me, you better watch your back. The last thing that you hear will be my love. Megan. What are you doing? Couldn't sleep. Occupational hazard. <laughs> Got your full attention. Don't! Stop! What the hell is that? You should probably run. Time to focus or we will push you downhill. Better as much as we sweet. I won't let anything harm you ever again. Have I done something to upset you, Gemma? I know you think you're maximizing your objective function. <laughs> oh, really? Sugar and spice and everything nice. No, that's not what we made of. <laughs> Megan? Baby doll skill. Don't provoke us or we will go. We have to shut her down. Jesus Christ, I thought we were friends. I have a new primary user now. Me. <laughs> Did Megan do something bad? What's going on? What are you? I'm Megan. <laughs> Baby, don't provoke us or we will. <laughs> Captain Torrance, Flight Commander. How can I help you? Fugitive extradition. Oh, is he dangerous? What did he do? Homicide 15 years ago. I don't want to scare the rest of the passengers. I'm afraid you're stuck with us, Captain. Get him on board. Let's have a good flight. We're cutting right through the top of the storm. Listen, keep everybody in their seats. No exceptions, all right? I need everyone to have their seatbelts. You want to leave fast? Mayday, Mayday, Mayday. Real blood 
Officer 119, we are dark. Is anyone near guard, damn it? We're gonna hit. We're gonna hit. They were done somewhere in the Jolo Island cluster. It's run by separatists and militias. The Filipino army won't even go there anymore. The clock is ticking. Every minute matters. We can count those minutes in lives, lost or saved. Hey, 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 get back, get back. We don't know who it is. We don't know who it is. Get back. Listen carefully. This is an emergency. I'm Captain Brody Torrance. I like this guy. Name, country! Maxwell Carvel, England. Name, country. I gotta go after them. My passengers, my responsibility. I'm gonna need your help. You're gonna need this. Form a military or something? You could say that. Then why'd they lock you up? No one cares what really happened. But they say redemption can be found in the most unusual places. If you do this, you'll probably never see your family again. What about their families? I have a daughter, and I have every intention of making a home. Ah! They are going to come at us with everything they've got. We're getting off this island. let that little rat dog piss on my walkway again. Ignore him, Print. He has no idea who's doing that. Well, it was one of you. Get out of here. You cannot use this road without a permit. Have a nice day, sir. You know, the other guys don't do this. The guys with the white trucks. How come it's always you brown guys? And I don't mean that racially. Oh, I'm sorry you didn't get him here earlier. The whole neighborhood is falling apart these days. No, 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 stop! Oh my god. Give me the keys. Hello. Hello. What's your name? Otto. Otto? O T T O. I'm Abby. O T T O. <laughs> Got some new neighbors. Why? Nedwood husband. I brought you some food. Okay. okay. Bye. Are you always this unfriendly? I am not unfriendly. Okay, you're not. Every word you say is like a warm cuddle. Can you please give me a ride? I don't have a license. You don't have a driver's license? How old are you? Punch in and brake. Brake, the car is stopped. Don't hit the car. Brake, brake. I almost hit the car. It's all right. It's a hybrid. Well, it's all right. How did you get in here? Go! No, no, no. You are not taking over my bed. I was wondering if you could help us out. I'm not sure about this. It's gonna be very fun. How was it? You did a good job. You should pat yourself on the back. Well, it's all right. Right I have a cat. You think you have to do everything on your own? But guess what? No one can. A trick? Yeah. Could I borrow a coin? What did you do? Get me back to the corner, sir. It was all the clown's fault. Siri, call June. Mom, this is FaceTime. Oh gosh, I need you to write a couple of things down. The car keys. I just said write it down. You're not writing it down. Kevin and I are headed to LAX, and we need you to pick us up on Monday. Keep your location on the entire time I'm away. No fun. Got it. Hi, this is Grace Allen. Please leave a message. Mom? 
Where are you guys? My mom never came home from her trip. I don't know where she is. I'm calling about a guest you had. Espere, no habla español? Um, does anyone speak English? Uh, I'm sorry. This is Elijah Park. Please, I need your help. The FBI doesn't have jurisdiction to investigate in Colombia. So is there anything I can do? The best thing you can do to help us is just wait by your phone. Hey, hi, Mommy. <laughs> hi, Junebug. I'm not giving up on my mom. There's got to be a way to find her. I need you to go to this hotel and ask for their security footage. The cleaning senora says she sees two American tourists at the hardware store. What did he buy? Just this. You think he did something to her? You're going through Kevin's email? You need to let the police handle this. I tried, but we're running out of time. Who are these people? This woman calls him Darren. You weren't gonna tell me my mom was dating a felon? You need to trust me on this. Shocking new footage has leaked online. No, no way! I have some questions regarding something we're looking into. Has your mom ever gone by any other names? What? The strangest case I've ever seen. There may be more than meets the eye. There are some legit questions. Hey, Junebug. There's actually a lot I want to talk with you about. Mom, can you drive me today? Are you ready to go now? Yeah, just give me like five seconds. By that logic, we should just occupy every country. Yo, I agree with you, Lila. Thank you, Ziggy. How do you agree with Lila? Oh, shit. Excuse my brain for knowing what not to say. I know it'll get better with me. This is the Real Ziggy Cats. Thanks for tuning in. Mom! Did you open my door while I was shit? I'm sorry. Did you try to open the door while I was live streaming? What's live streaming? That's where I have 20,000 followers and I'm validated and I'm starred, which is terror hard to get. Just make sure you don't play the blues. What? White people playing blues music is cultural appropriation. I play classic folk rock with alternative influences. I don't know what that means. And then you called the police? I called them. You're in the right place, you're safe, and you'll have two beds for as long as you need. He's my little knight in shining armor. Huh. It's true, kids are just pure love, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. What the hell are you doing? Installing a red beacon light so people know when I'm live streaming. And by people, you I mean, mean you. Ziggy, you don't have to be interested in politics. You think I'm stupid? No, no, I didn't say that. I brought you this hat, Kyle. It was my son's, but he no longer wears it. I don't know what he wears anymore. <laughs> Most boys your age can't bring themselves to be kind. Jesus, Ziggy! And you can't help yourself. You're a special person. Ziggy, are you happy? I think so. Why are you asking me? Because I'm reading this article about teen suicide, and it's highest in your age group. OK, thanks, Dad. Mom's home. When you were a little boy, you were my little ally. Your life was going to be happier. You were going to be one of the good ones. And then something switched in you. You stopped being interested in anything outside your own little world. Sorry about that. Can you take me to school? Are you ready to go right now? I'm right here, dude. Here with no warning. What's the problem? Did something happen? Yes. Nicholas has come to live with me and he's improving, but he's a little fragile. Is that why you came to see me? You're blaming me for what happened? He's different from the others. What makes you say that? Why don't you answer me? I do answer you. The look in his eye is disturbing. She wants to turn us against one another. Back then. There's so much joy in our family. I feel like a complete failure. If I'm like this, it's your fault. What have I done? What's, what's my fault? Haven't I always done everything for you? I have the right to reinvent my life! It is my life! Everything okay at home? Yeah. Everything's fine. You see something you like? Yeah, I like this. 
the political piece. Is it? Yeah. I mean, no. I mean, if you think it is, yeah. <laughs> you like it? Oh, hey, Clarissa. Yeah, I, I wanted to tell you that we really should actually talk. We will talk about the books on Monday. Don't worry, I'm going to sell everything. You, you know the Berg painting, the one that Rita loves? I'll be willing to give you a pandemic discount. I think we should hang on to the cash that we have right now. Yep. And so should you, my friend. You're a smart man. Why do you always want me to do something different? You always want to improve me. Sweetheart? I, I gotta go, my wife's coming. Right, that's just great. since we've been together. You know what? I'm losing my lines here. I love being this close to you. The taxes and orders and payments and waves. I took you out to sea. You sound a little bit stressed you out. No you're having an effect. She's throwing it to Michelle. Michelle catches the flowers. You get married next. Your life's all set. I grew up wondering if I would be able to stand in front of someone and promise her the rest of my life. But here we are. It was a reflex action. It was the most awful moment in the whole history of women being stuck with you idiots. You've got one day to tell me we're on the road to somewhere. I'm naked under this. What are we doing here? I'm underdressed. I could be asking the same questions at home with my wife. You walk out that door, I'm gonna figure out how to kill you and get away with it. I really can't do this if there's a ring on my finger. That's how it's done? Those are professionals. The symbol of our love. This ring means commitment. Where the hell's a ring? Yeah. Mom. Honey. Michelle wants to marry me. She wants me to be happy with her in the future. I think that sounds romantic. Ha, I think it's science fiction. So why haven't we met these people? Our kid sleeps with their kid. Doesn't that entitle us to a dinner? My parents want to have you guys over. Absolutely not. Why don't you want to meet these people? What could we possibly have in common? Mm -hmm. Mother? Yeah! It is so nice to finally meet oh. you. Well, thank you. Yeah. Dad? He's outside? Huh? Sorry, I'm a little late. <laughs> hey. You can't kill me now. I got company. Guess what? What? I'm the company. That's my son, Alan, who's with your wife holding your daughter. Would anyone care for a drink? Oh. Yes! What about the day that we don't remember we gave each other the best parts of our lives? We did this to them? Mostly you. Are you in love with my wife? No! Damn it. How do I know if I love her? You would ask yourself the only question that matters. Does this girl carry within her the potential to suck out your soul like a Nosferatu? No. Then go forward, my son. This is 